Hello, this is Torior, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Catholic Ottomans. And in the meantime, I have checked the religious leagues thingy, and apparently I have to declare war on the leader of the faction. And unfortunately, we have a truce for the next 10 years. This is... well, this sucks a little bit. But oh well, we'll do it. In 10 years. I'm not ready to lose 3 stability. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's more or less it. Um, I think we'll just uh, expand um, into the Mamluks in the meantime. So Mamluks allied with Tunis and... no, we still have a truce. Okay, who then? Maybe Ethiopia or Varasangli. Yeah, um, oh yeah, we, don't long we no longer have a truce with them. So I'll just fabricate a couple of claims. Mm, just whatever. Same with Ethiopia. What about Makuria? Where's Makuria? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, let's fabricate a couple of claims on Ethiopia as well. Mm, where are my troops? Did I lose all of them? And can you move? You cannot move. Oh, I suppose I could... No, I can't get military access. Well, when I am the Emperor, so when I'm at war, I think I will have access. For now, let's just uh, get the normal guys. <coughs> Excuse me, down south. Maybe I should attack Mutapa instead. Let's fabricate a claim on them. Oh, they have a good king. Right. And I can't really convert anyone. Aragon still has no heir. The Palatinate wants a royal marriage. Well, the Palatinate likes me quite a lot. Um, sure, you can have a royal marriage. Just make sure you vote for me. Mm, and I do hope that Sweden will join our, or rather, Scandinavia will join our union. Also, maybe Aragon. Aragon has no air still. We do have a chance, but it is a small chance. Well, it would be nice to get them in a union. Unions are wonderful. So, anything else to do in the meantime? Aragon, Anhalt, Lundberg. Mm, some rebels down south. I suppose it would be... it might be wiser to just attack this area, but um, if we take Mutapa, the colonizers won't be able to take it. Otherwise they might. Okay, agent was discovered, I don't care. And our troops are moving. They're quite close already. Wonderful. Mm, I could use some... Wait a minute, I did have a mercenary army around here. Here it is. Great, I could use the infantry. Although I might... Mm, I might disband the cavalry and cannons. Because mercenary cavalry and mercenary cannons are very, very expensive. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, this is done. And... My mission is to conquer Egypt. When will that expire? I hope not too quickly. Improvements in naval technology. Mm, do I want to diplo power on the expense of, of inflation? Well, yes, yes I do. Monarch points are more, more important than money. And our diplo skill is crappy right now. Yes, Scandinavia, I would like a royal marriage with you. No, you do have an heir, that is unfortunate. I would prefer if you didn't. Um, Murad III's campaign against uh, Persia. Yada yada. Get a claim. Do I want to fight Persia? Mm. Maybe it will give us some new events. Let's try it. Found the flames of war. I mean, attacking Karakayunu next could be a good idea, but uh, I'd like to take the African stuff before, um, before the colonizers get here. Because if I don't take it, they will. Okay then. Argon, still no air. Good. Mm. Yeah, let's just conquer Mutapa first. You guys get down there. Although conquering Ethiopia would let, mm, let us uh, come through this land a little bit easier. Mutapa, what's your total war score cost? 95. Oh, that might be too much for me to take in a single war, because of the um, overextension. 
Right, um, how much separatism do I have in Prague? 1574 is when it will expire, or when we get the idea. I would like to get the idea. Um, but it's the... yeah, this one, the fourth one. Years of Separatism minus 10. Um, I think it will expire on its own before we get it. Castle's Belly Conquest is ready. Right. The forces are not there yet, so I can send another guy to claim stuff. In the meantime, let me see if anything new in the succession thing has happened. Still no legal heir, and a good king. Mine is crap. And my heir is crap as well. Well, they will both die relatively soon, I hope I get a good one after that. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, it'll give us a lot of money because Mutapa has gold mines. And we are trading in coffee, which doesn't really matter that much to me. Although I do like the modifier trading in ivory, and there is some ivory here, so that will help. Let me check the trade map mode, I haven't, mm, I haven't looked at it in a while. Yeah, transferring a lot from there, 57% here only. Weird, I should have much more. Well, we don't control all of Alexandria, so that is understandable. 93%, everything going here, and then being transferred north. Mm, right. Could use more trade efficiency. It is unfortunate that I don't have more trade efficiency. Well, it's just money. We have a lot of money. I suppose I could get some buildings. Oh, manufacturing is interesting. Uh, I could get some... Um, I should be building something in Constantinople because we do have one slot. What should it be? Look on rest? Not really a thing. Mm, we have that, we have that. Dock, maybe, but no. Shipyard is not necessary. Regimental camp increases force limit, and what sort of manufacturing do I build here? Mm, grain would be what? Uh, tea, no. Coffee, grain. Plantation. Admin tech 14. I should probably wait until, well, leave one slot open for manufacturing. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm, maybe I should take another level of Diplotech. It'll g let me... Naval Force Limit plus 2. It will let me build a dock and get some more trade. Sure, let's get it. Not the next one, though. I need to have some points reserved for peace deals, because I didn't take the religious ideas. Right. Oh, and I do have free diplomats, so... Oh, Lithuania, are you friendly? Hmm, you feel threatened. Interesting. So, theoretically, what else could I do here? Wait a minute. Is this merchant doing a good job? Hmm, yeah, probably. Right, so what should I do next? Let's just attack them, straight off. But first, I should probably use the one remaining diplomat to do something. Let me see what the air situation here is. 40 years old and 44 years old. 71 and 51. There will be a couple of opportunities in this area. France, uh, young and young, nothing here. Great Britain, 50, 40, another opportunity. Tuscany, not really. You're under a union. Oh, when can I start integrating you? Six years from now. Yes, we will do that, but that will deplete all, all our diplo points for a very long time. Hungary is a target for us. And Scandinavia? Young and young. Okay, so some opportunities in Great Britain, Castile, Portugal and Aragon. Muscovy is an enemy now, so nothing here. Lithuania, young and young. Okay, so the Iberian Peninsula and Great Britain could be targets for us. Ethiopia, not really. Right, I don't want to westernize, I'll be doing, able to do it for free very soon. Okay, let's just attack, we do have enough troops to do that. And I'm not calling anyone into this war. 
And they do have two forts at the board, right at the border. Let's just uh, split you in half. Mm, yeah, the air that I want to die, and another guy. Take the force first. They do have tons of cannons, so it should be very quick. The last army is moving on. Now, Makurian Separatists. Oh, really? Only 0 0.4 revolt risk. If I, could, mm, if I could get my stability up, that would be very nice. Unfortunately, it is only at 2. Maybe if I get more level 3 advisors, I'll get it quicker. Don't really need military power, but... Oh, should I kill them? Probably should. Let's uh, detach sieges and get this army, then we'll return. Okay, improve the relations with Lithuania sufficiently. I should probably start improving the relations with people in the HRE a little bit more. Already did. Granted electorate. Oh, you're fighting someone. Yeah, let's improve relations. Wait, everybody. Oh, no, no free diplomats anymore. Oh, you're pretty strong for a country that is not very well developed. Really? How are they so well developed for a country that theoretically shouldn't be? We lost? Really? What the hell? Have some crazy modifiers. From technology, military drill, army tradition, prestige. Well, we'll beat them anyway, so doesn't really matter. Okay, you can go there. And that will be it for now. And just maintain the troops. And wait a little while. What's that? Donkeys? No, zebras. Can I move inland? Not really. I desperately need more manpower. Hmm. Should I get the next idea? I'll need the points for coring, but this war is gonna take a while. Let's get the next idea. And you can go to Zimbabwe. And you can go... over here. Yeah, they'll probably retake Senna, but um, we can always come back. Incompetent diplomats again? Yeah, okay, replace them. We can convert this province, let's do it. We're no longer threatened by religious civil disorder, because our religious unity is too high. Oh, wonderful. Let's get you some help. Because you'll lose again. Oh, this has been completed, wonderful. I wonder, will I be able to full annex them without going over 100% overextension? I suppose we will see soon, but I am curious. Okay, you can go further inland, and so can you. Some of them will probably encounter enemy armies, and we'll have to supplement them with reinforcements again. Fortunately, those guys are ready to be reinforcements. They go far inland, but it is sufficient that we take the coast now. Right, and you guys go here. Because that's where the last army will be. Yeah, go kill them. Wait a minute, musket or bow? Military tech cost or lose tradition? Hmm. How long will this last? Till the end of the king... Until the king's death... Well, we're, we're far from being capped. Let's increase military technology cost. Okay. But they did survive. Let's chase them. Wherever they go. Also, do you have siege value? Yes, you do. Okay. You go siege, you go chase. Going to... Nowhere. Wonderful. And everything is taken. So, 
Can I take everything? Uh, yes, indeed I can. Mm, is that everything, or did I miss something? They don't seem to have borders with anything. Right, so... Also give me your money. Oh, they're quite rich. All the gold. And now we don't have... We don't have the points to core everything, right? Oh, we just might. Nope. That's not a problem. At least we did get the... Mm, unrest reduction idea. So they won't be revolting anytime soon, I hope. Uh, right, Mutapa is now ours, and we can't move any further without colonization ideas. What's that? Great Britain? Hmm. Oh, when did they become hostile? Also, Aragon still doesn't have an heir, which is good for me. 20 years old, that is very young, and the chance is very slim. Okay, you guys go to Varasangali, because they're our next conquest. Let's get more claims. Same with Ethiopia, if I get a free... Uh, if I get a free diplomat. Let me check the religious thing. Oh crap, more people are joining. Really, Britain joined. This is going to be a very difficult war, but we have Scandinavia now, so... That's at least... that's better. That's going to be a world war. Castile, Portugal, Aragon, Scandinavia, France on our side. Also Austria and us. And they have uh, Muscovy, Poland, Great Britain. Uh, Brandenburg and lots of HRE countries. This is going to be a world war. Also, we only have four votes now. Uh, right, there was some religious uh, changes. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He has two, so even if you go down to three, it will be fine. Uh, trading in coffee. Lost. Hmm. Should I take a level three? Cou counting on the free stability increase? No, I don't really need the military power. Let's stay mm, at what we've got. Right. You guys are returning north. And that will be it. I do need more manpower, but unfortunately all those territories give me a lot of attrition. I suppose I could be managing them better, but... It's not my primary concern, let's say. Okay, after we've done here... Okay, we lost real marriage. Let's redo it. After we're done here, I think I will turn my attention to Karakuyunu, and then Persia, and so on. Saxony, improved relations, wonderful, recall. Oh, Palatinate no longer wants to vote for us. They are... Hmm. How can I make you like me more? Oh, I'm not improving relations with the Palatinate, let's do that immediately. I do want your vote. I mean, you can always join the HRE, but it will be better to do it after. Uh, after the religious wars. We'll get more, more points and we'll pass a reform. Right. Oh, I should um, disable force. Of course I should. That increases our income significantly. Hmm. Actually, we won't need any force here, so let's just destroy them. Could keep the one, I suppose, if I was to fight somebody here, but... No. Don't need it. This is a choke point, let's keep it. We're going to fight a war here very soon, so let's keep this one. Don't need this one. Mm, what else? Don't need this one. Although if you fight Kara... Kara... Uh, yeah, we don't need it. Also, same with Cyprus. Those might come in handy when we fight Poland next. And that will be it for now. Just increase our income a little bit. So, Varasangli. Uh, let's first start some new cores. Should probably not declare war just yet. Let's at least wait until we start all the cores. Okay, great. Master Recruiter. Were we using him? We were not. Oh, we have a couple of... Wait a minute. Alright, I still haven't started coring it. That's why I can send a missionary. 
Uh, Corrine is a more pressing matter, so let's not send a missionary. Truce in Moscow has ended. Hmm. Yeah, this religious wars thing is quite unsettling, but we will have to do it. Oh, Imperial Liberation against Thuringia. Thuringia. They are the they are the right religion, but they dislike me. This will not trigger a coalition war, and I could call in a lot of people. Hmm. Um, let's do it later. Can I demand unlawful territory from them? Will they give it? Emperor actions. They will not accept because... Hostile attitude. Well, if not for the attitude, they would accept. Can I make them like me more? Let's improve relations. Oh, they annexed an elector. Oh, wonderful. Bloody hell. Huh. Who should be the next one? Who likes me the most? Let's look at the religious map, though, because it does make uh, a difference. Maybe I should just attack Thuringia. Let Austria do all the work. Or just call in one person. Ah, oh, good. Frankfurt, Münster, Saxony and Nassau. And Saxony, who are you allied with? Saxe Luxembourg, mm, Thuringia, Hansa, Hess. I should probably declare the war, you know? Yeah, can I demand the territory or can I not? Oh, cannot send a diplomat. Oh, I was improving relations with them. Yeah, let's stop that. I just need to kill them. Um, so, demand unlawful territory, yes. Demand. We lose imperial authority if they refuse, but we don't have any imperial authority to lose at the moment. Let's send you guys back home and you will be attacking. Very soon. Okay, let's demand another one so that um, they get uh, some revolt risk. Right. I need to designate another elector, but it could be wise to release some country and then designate it as an elector, because then they will be grateful. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, um, I think it's time to end the episode, so thank you very much for watching. Remember to click the like button if you enjoyed it. We have expanded a little bit, but now it will be time to meddle in the HRE once again. Thanks for watching, see you next time.